So many people, how are you doing? And welcome to the first home game of the 2020-21 season. And for the first time in six months, fans are finally back in stadiums. Unfortunately, though, due to the restrictions in place with only 1,000 fans allowed in the stadiums and those going to season ticket holders... I can't attend. The soonest I'll be able to attend games is in October, which I'm gutted about. Me not going isn't going to stop me from doing a live reaction, as today, coincidentally, we take on Doncaster Rovers as our first home game. A lot of good memories against Doncaster, obviously. The last time we did play them was, of course, the infamous playoff semi-final win uh, in the season we got promoted. We can't underestimate Doncaster. They drew on the opening day against MK Dons. Cholton, we of course beat Crew, but I do feel Crew should have at least scored or maybe should have got something from the game from the way they played in the second half. Donny have got some very good attacking players. Ryan Tullock, Ty Tyrese John Jules, Taylor Richards, John Taylor, Ben Whiteman in holding midfield. He's going to be very good. Bursic in goal is a decent keeper. They've got some very good players. Cholton, We've got to go guns blazing again for this. We've got to try and start well at the Valley with fans back in the stadium. So that will give us the upper hand. Me personally, though, I think Donny, they're going to give us a good game. I'm going to go for one all draw as a score prediction. I think it's going to be a tight game. Donny won't make it easy. They're out for revenge. But let's hope that Charlton can come away with another three points and keep that 100% record going for the start of this League One season. Come on, you addicts! Teams have now come out, and boy, it is good to see fans back at the Valley. The noise, despite the lack of fans that are there, there may be only a 1,000, but the noise is incredible, and it is so nice to see fans back at the Valley. The pitch looks immaculate. First time seeing the new home kit. It looks great. Doncaster, get this underway. Come on, you Reds! Come on, boys. Let's get a win. Let's get a win on our return to the Valley with fans back in the stadium. Come on, boys. Come on! Holly Barker takes the throw, plays it into someone. He wins it back. Crosses it in the penalty area. Good box. Bomb win their head up. Deflected over the top. Unlucky McCauley. Unlucky Maka, that was a good chance there. Good cross in there by Charlie Barker. Bomb won the header. It did look like it was a, a deflection off one of their players and it went over, but it was a decent header from Bond looping header. Just hit the roof of the net. Unlucky McCall. I'm already noticing that Doncaster are a very quick paced football inside. Taylor Richards, John Taylor, and Ty Tyrese John Jules. Really, really good work between all three of them. Very quick, one touch passing between the two of them. Very, very quick. They had a really good chance there from the right side. One touch passing to each other. Very, very well done. They looked very good together unfortunately for them John Taylor shanked a shot so far left you think the Robichaud's man was sat in the ditch here in the corner it is threatening and it looks good they're playing good football but thankfully for Charlton they're not really coming into anything so far oh mate bloody hell unlucky boys Charlton coming ridiculously close there really really well done there from McCauley, Bond and Alfie Doughty, I think it was. Moving the ball nicely on the right side. Doughty played it into Connor Washington, who got through past three Doncaster players. He's then pulled it back towards the back post. Alex Gilby coming steaming in towards the back post, and he just misses it. We're talking like inches, inches away from goal. Gilby just missing the ball, couldn't quite find the back of the net. By far the best chance of the game so far. Decent flick on from Bond there to Alex Gilby on the left. Surging towards the penalty area. He's got support in behind him with Ben Purrington. Gilby will go alone. Gilby has a shot. Oh, good save there by Bursic. Gilby strike there very nearly caught him out. Gilby had Purrington in support on the overlap on the left side. He decided to cut inside. Got past a couple of Doncaster players. Was in open space. Had a shot not too far away from the edge of the D. It was going towards the near post and it was a good save by Josef Bursic. Bond will take their corner. Force the Kaski with the cross towards Bond. Hit flicked on. Gilby. Oshilaja. Nah. Bit of a mess, Prattley's now got it on the right side, comes into the penalty area, Gordaza, swing it in son, lays it off to Barker, who scooped the miss, swung in by Morgan, what a ball, oh no! Another good chance from Charlton, another good chance from McCauley, Bon Bon is offside though. Barker tried to swing it in first time, it was kind of like a scoop shot, it ended up flicking massively towards Albie Morgan, brilliantly towards Albie Morgan. Morgan has then just lofted it in first time towards Bond. Bond won the header. It just missed the far post. It was offside anyway. Doncaster have been under the cosh a little bit. Charlton seems to be the team on top. Well, another good piece of football there from Charlton. 
Paul Stokowski smashed the ball forward towards Albie Morgan, who flicked in a good ball into Connor Washington. Washington chopped his way past the defender, but it was just cut away by their defender. As I say, we're playing good football. We're moving the ball really nicely in the midfield, pushing it forward to our attackers, but either Doncaster's defenders are dealing with it, or we just can't, can't, can't quite find the back of the net. We tested Bursic a couple of times, threatened their, threatened their goal, challenged their defenders with our quick attackers and good football. We're playing well, we're playing well. We are the team on top, and as I was saying, Doncaster, under the cosh, they've been they've been struggling to contain us this last 15, this last 10 and 15 minutes or so. We've been looking good, man. Goal's coming for Joel. For f sake. As soon as I say that, Doncaster have now just taken the lead and it's a pretty good goal. It's Madra Gomez again who scored against MK Dons and it's a pretty good goal, I have to admit it. We gave the ball away to Jason Lakilo who stormed forward. He played in Ben Whiteman who was then dispossessed by Prattley. It's come out to Gomez who's just taken it on on the volley. It's bounced before it's gone in and Amos just can't stop it. It was a good solid 25, 30 yards out and it's dipped and flown into the bottom corner. It's a very good strike. And Cholton, with a thousand Cholton fans back at the Valley, a 1-0 down. Come on. Doncaster weren't going to make it easy for us. We've got a game on our hands now. We need to sort this out, boys. We need to sort this out big time. We looked the team on top after the 10 minute mark. We were dominating them with our chances. Gilby and Bond coming close. And it back to the keeper, Amos, very nearly punted it straight at their player. But now we've got it out on the left of Alvin Norman. Come on, help him out. That's it, cut inside. Well done, full stokowski. Whip this in, son. No, fucking hell. Oh. Jake tries to whip it in. It goes well out for a goal kick. Ben Whiteman with a very good chance there. Taylor Richards played him in outside the box. He's had a shot. Amos got down well to save it. We're really struggling now. Doncaster muscling us off the ball. Playing some good football. Jason Lakilo has been a really, really threatening player since coming on. Half time at the Valley. Charlton Athletic nil. Doncaster Rovers one. And we have to say, that weren't very good, was it? That was not very good. Started slow. First five or seven or so minutes. Doncaster looked threatening with their one touch football. Then Ray and Tulloch went off for Jason Lokilo. Then we started to come into our own with chances of our own. Alex Gilby with two good chances. Connor Washington's ball across the box. He couldn't quite get on the end of. And then he cut inside past Doncaster defenders and had a shot at the near post, which was saved by Joseph Bursic very well. We looked good, looked set to score a goal. And then Maja Gomez, who scored last week against MK Dons, unleashed the 25 yard pole driver. Since Doncaster's goal, They've been the better team, and we have to admit that. They've been the better side. They've been threatening us massively. Jason Nakilo, since coming on, really has threatened us. Ben Whiteman had a good chance, which was saved by Amos. Amos does seem to be a little bit nervous when the ball is played into him a little bit. We need a massive improvement here. Hopefully the 1,000 Alex fans who are there can be in their full voice in the second half, rally the troops on, spur the boys on, and hopefully we can get an equaliser and kick on from there. Half time at the Valley, Cholton nil, Doncaster one. Come on boys, need a better second half. 2-0 Donny. Charlie Barker own goal. He got a feel for him there as well, man. Once again, Doncaster looking good on the right side. Halliday laid it off to Ben Whiteman, who's drilled in a low driven cross. Barker has ended up steering it in the back of his own net. And the addicts are now 2-0 down. This hasn't been good enough. I'm not surprised really considering how thin this team is and how lustre this squad is. Because let's be real, as I've said before many a time, this is not our finished product. This is not our finished product. This is not our actual side. You know, we've got 23 players, a very young squad, some inexperienced players in this team. Barker in particular has now just scored an own goal and I do feel really sorry for him. But we are going to struggle on some occasions. We are going to struggle this season and this is a, an occasion where we are struggling and we have to lift our hands up and say that Doncaster have been the better team. Finally, some signs of life going forward. Connor Washington testing the keeper there. 
managed to get the ball on the right side with Jake Fristikowski. He pinned it forward towards Washington. He's had a shot at the near post, saved by Bursic. Now got a chance here, tried to cross it. Oh my God, and nearly another own goal. What are we doing? Reese James on the left side, crossed it in. And Fristikowski's literally just stood there. There was no one in the box for Doncaster to find. Fools Kaskis then just chested it to bloody Amos. That nearly caught Amos out. Amos has looked shaky all game. And we're just doing that to him. What are we doing? That's a free header there. Oh, Prattley. Oh, another good chance there. Gilby and Bond combining on the left side. Then Bond laid it off to Purrington, I think it was, who then swung it in. Prattley, essentially, in a field of four Doncaster defenders, is just stood on his own, completely free, as a free header, and he just spoons the header wide. You've got to be putting those chances away. He's in free space. He has a fr that's an open opportunity to grab a goal back. And you're not taking it. What are you doing? That's absolutely delightful from John Jules. 3 0. Oh, that's superb. Tyrese John Jules. It's a great goal as well, man. It's a great goal. He picks up the ball on the right side, near the edge of the area. He just nutmegs Ben Purrington. Takes a shot. I think it takes a deflection off Oshie Larger and it's gone in the back of the net. 3 0. First Rovers goal. What a way to get it. We are taking a beating. Donny have walked all over us. We can't say they don't deserve it. They've absolutely run riot. This has been a shamble to us. We looked good for 25 minutes and then all of a sudden they get a goal against the run of play and they've dominated us. They have absolutely walked all over us. We've been absolutely shocking. And it's a shame, really, with this club currently in the situation that it is in. We can't fix the problems that we have. So we've got to take the hits. We're not in the position where we can fix these problems. So I did say I expect us to take hits at the first few couple of games of the season. There we go. There we go. We get one back. Connor Washington with his second goal of the season. Well done. It was scrappy, it wasn't glamorous, but Charlton finally have a goal back. Our first goal at the Valley in front of fans. The corner was swung in, watching it back now. It was a looping cross. It was then, it came out to Albie Morgan at the edge of the area, who crossed it back in. A couple of players tried to win the header. Full Stokowski comes sliding in. Washington then managed to win the header. It's come off Bursic and in the back of the net. The Northern Irishman with his second goal of the, arc, with his second goal of the season. And Charlton have got one back at long... Last. Charlton 1, Doncaster 3. Kaski trying to find some space to surge forward. Plays it inside. Nicely done towards Alex Gilby. Unlucky. Bond will get there first. Now falls to Kaski again. Jake now driving towards the centre. Now plays it out left to Alfie Doughty. Come on, Alfie. Doughty has a good chance. He crosses it in. Johnny Williams. Oh, shot by Washington again. He's deflected out for a corner. Unlucky. Washington again. Unlucky. This is much better, though. This is much better. Good few minutes now. 71st minute, Charlton 1, Doncaster 3. This is the most alive we've been all game since their first goal. This is much better. If we keep this up and we get a second goal, we really could threaten them for an equaliser. I know I'm getting ahead of myself here, but let me believe. Dare to dream. Connor Washington again coming narrowly close to getting a second goal for Charlton there. Another long ball played into Washington. He chested it down really well. But the defender once again cut him away as Doncaster trying to counter-attack here. But it is dealt with again by Charlton. Now let's go. Come on. Long ball forward once again. Who's going to get on the end of it? Washington will give chase and that goes out for a throw. Connor Washington, he's been our most threatening player going forward, man. He's been finding those long balls, chesting it down. It's just the defence managed to get to it. He put away his goal, though. Very scrappy as it was. But he has been our best attacking threat so far. And... As critical as I was of him at the start of the season, he's bagged two goals so far, so he's looking good for us. It's a stoppage time, five minutes have been added on. It is still Charlton Athletic, one, Doncaster Rovers, three. Ultimately, it's just been a bad day at the office. And uh, as I've said, no. Do you mind? Jesus Christ, with about 30 seconds left, Alex Gilby's just hit an absolute thunderbolt off the crossbar. He chests it down, he hits it on the volley, and it just strikes the bar. It's a great effort by Gilby, who's had a good game, to be fair to him today. He's played very, very well, but... Unlucky there by Gilby, but that does look like it's going to be the end of the game. There it is. The full time the first and that's going to be it. 
The return of fans to the valley ends in disappointment. Doncaster get their revenge 16 months after their playoff semi-final defeat to us. And it is a deserved victory. We have to lift our hands up and say that. We looked good first 25 minutes, had those chances with Bon and Gilby. Washington was very good as well, creating some of those chances. Magic Gomez hits a shot out of nowhere against the run of play and he gets the opening goal. And we never really recovered after that. Charlie Barker with an own goal. John Jules with a well-worked goal, chip a deflection of Washington Larger. Washington responded four minutes after that. But it was too little, too late in the end. Not a very good performance from the boys in the end, but it is a result that I'm not entirely surprised by, considering the fact that our squad is not finished. This team isn't a finished product. A lot of work needs to be done, and we can't fix those problems because of the restrictions that we have. All we can do is just support the boys week in, week out. That's all we can do, show them support constantly. Positives to take. Washington again with his second goal of the season. Very positive from him. Gilby was fantastic once again. And the fans, they're applauding the team off now. They showed them that support. And fair play to everyone who was there today. I'd give everything to be there today. But sadly, I couldn't be there due to the restrictions in place. But hopefully we'll get there one day to support the boys. But today, we just weren't good enough and we have to accept that. This has been Tyler Anderson. Have a nice day and I'll see you all then. Full time at the Valley of the return of the fans back at Charlton. Charlton Athletic 1, Doncaster Rovers 3.